everybody. It's Callaway Talks. Harry Arnett is here. He's right here, because that's me. <laughs> Dr. Alan Hocknell is here. He's right there, because that's him. And I must say, Alan, you and the team have been on quite the roll we in the have. iron category. We have indeed, and we're pretty happy with where we're going next. Well, I think for all the products that we've launched over the years together, this one to me has the most goosebump potential because <laughs> of bringing back some stuff that has made Callaway famous in the past, yep. but also adding a little modern flair for more breakthrough performance going forward. Yeah, we've been uh, working hard on how to combine some of the best elements of some of the shape that we've had in the past, a shape that many, many people out there will absolutely recognize and have probably played well with. Take that influence and add to it our most modern, distant enhancing, speed producing technology to produce brand new iron. Well, pay attention here. Do not look there yet because you're going to steal a thunder. But that's the new steelhead iron. And you'll notice immediately a, a little bit of a throwback yeah. to really what put Callaway irons on the map about, I don't know, 10 years ago. Yep. This iron is uh, infused with a lot of shape characteristics coming from the Steelhead X14 irons, the most successful Callaway irons of all time. And uh, an iconic shape in the game improvement area, known for its distribution of uh, sole width, top line, offset, uh, technology known as the bore through that takes weight out of the hosel. Um, we wanted to use all of these uh, features that these irons of 10 years ago benefited from in terms of creating distance and great feel and then add to it with our face cup technology. So what do we get from here? Well, we get uh, a great shape, but we also get a great distribution of weight in this iron. In particular, uh, the center of gravity is right in the center of the score lines. You might think that all irons do that all the time. Well, it's not actually the case. Um, so many irons don't actually achieve that characteristic of putting the CG right in the middle. And we use the light, uh, lightness of this hosel in order to get that weight distribution, put the CG right there. Then we add to it our face cup technology that we've been known for uh, more recently. And we've got a new version of that with a thinner perimeter. It was very lightweight and uh, high mobility face, you know, very uh, strong dynamic response during impact, gives us high ball speed. Now, the other thing that we're doing, though, in this iron that's different from uh, other game improvement irons and irons that we've made in this area before is that we're now flighting the CG through the set as well. So uh, there's a technology in here where we've got uh, progressively lower centers of gravity in the longer irons rising to a higher center of gravities in the shorter irons. And that gives us a real high launch characteristic in the long part of the bag that you might expect. But as you go to the shorter irons, you get more control from a higher spinning shot uh, caused by that higher CG. So there's a whole a uh, lot of um, older uh, ideas and brand new ideas all pushed into one uh, iron and it looks pretty cool too. All right, so hypothetically, if you had a friend that, let's say you had a friend that you did a lot of video content with, uh, okay. and this friend of yours hits the ball, nah, a little toey sometimes, mm -hmm. what am I going to find with this new shape in uh, this face cup yeah. with that little slightly toe hit? You know, the forgiveness of this iron is really, really good, especially for ball speed when you don't hit the center of face. And, you know, if you hit in that location, then you'd be like a lot of people. I didn't say me, I just said oh, someone sorry. here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, someone like you. If one, like me. <laughs> What you're going to see is at a distance and the still the ability to launch the ball effectively even when you don't make center contact. All right, so this is the six iron. So all, all I'll need now is a sample of the five, four, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, P, and so on and so on. And you finally listen to me. Yep. Every now and then you will listen to me. Usually it's on pop culture. Occasionally it's on golf clubs. And I said, can you please make a, fair, a hybrid that's a little, a wee bit bigger than my Apex hybrid? Yep. And you did it. There yeah. it is. That's essentially what this is. This has a shape that's rooted in the very successful Apex hybrid. That hybrid was maybe designed with a bit of a leaning towards better players. Um, so in order to make it much more forgiving, we've made it deeper front to back in this dimension here. And the face is also uh, quite a bit larger than the Apex. So that's uh, going to allow the face to flex more. You're going to get a higher COR, better ball speed from that. Uh, the deeper CG is going to allow the ball to launch more effectively. And also it's got more MOI as well. So all sorts of things that are going to help you hit more consistent shots uh, with this kind of hybrid. So uh, we're really pleased with the trajectory and with the feel and uh, with the performance in the hands of a great number of different players. And since we are making this video that we're doing today specifically for our Callaway fans in the Southeast, you know what I'm going to say that you guys have been up to with this one? <laughs> You've been an innovating, Doc. Innovating? You've been an innovating. That's the steelhead irons and the steelhead hybrids. Check those out. You won't be disappointed. I can't wait. These are going right. Okay. I mean, seriously, I say that a lot. 
These are going right in the back. No, I mean literally. These are going right in my bag. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you again on Cowboy Talks.